Yes, good evening. Well, if you've missed this, obviously it's in the morning and you watch this video, it might all be over with, but the news might be telling you something different. I've been watching this development overnight and I'm making this video kind of last minute. I've put um, some information out on my socials, on my Twitter, on my Facebook. You can follow me. Uh, links in the description area down below. Um, obviously, we've got this system, a storm system that's been coming up from Spain and it's quite energetic. It's quite a punch. There's been a few uh, spots of lightning and, and thunderstorms that are knocking around. But primarily, as it's moving itself across the south of the country, which I did do warnings for uh, just recently on the previous video, it seems like it tightens itself up just between Oxford and Cambridge. Again, I try and do this in easy terms. So I was looking at the bbc um the met office sorry rain radar uh, and i was just looking at the state of play as regards the amount of rain that's to be expected across that area which is quite a a lot of rain uh which is you can clearly see on the rain radar itself but this is recorded uh it's 11 o'clock at night now um and i'm just swinging it through to a little bit later on in the evening and as it gets towards, say, about two o'clock, if you notice towards Banbury, my camera's moving. Uh, we've got a bit of a concentration that's going on between Banbury and Coventry. This is two o'clock in the morning, okay? Now, this, is, this isn't gospel. I always say it's not gospel. Uh, don't take this as a, as a professional forecast. But what I do notice is that as it's moving its way across and it's going towards uh, Leicestershire, Melton Mowbray, uh, Nottingham, we've got this distinct area down here. Now I took a screenshot on my phone, which is a bit better resolution, and you can see to the east, southeast of Eastham, or just below Coventry, there's a bit of a hot spot, and we've also got like a split feature. Now, through my experience, that's a signature of a very possible tornado. Yes, I know, we do get tornadoes in this country. They do uh, cause damage at times. Now, again, please, I'm stressing, this might not be 100% true. It might not pan out. But according to the data and everything else that I'm looking at and the charts, it does look possible. Now, I've kind of slept on it for a few hours and I've just been going through some of the other socials and a couple of other people have popped up now saying that uh there's a small chance of a tornado one of the ones i did notice was on netweather uh, if you click on theirs they've actually covered a very similar area if you can see they've got the oxford and cambridge they're talking about gusty winds hail tornadoes so that kind of confirmed to me that what i'd seen on there was pretty much spot on and correct so they've done a severe convective watch um i'm going to follow suit with netweather i'm not going to uh, put my head out even more there's definitely going to be some strong winds. There's definitely going to be a lot of rain. There could be some flash flooding. There could be lightning. There could be hail. And I say could because you might not get it. It could be very localised what happens. And looking at that radar, uh, rain radar prediction from the Met Office, it does look like something could occur. And the whole track line could be anywhere across that boundary that I've put on, uh, on, this, uh, on this video. So we're looking at a little bit more detail. We're going to uh, go over to Windy. And we'll click the rain. And we can see, now this is um, at midnight tonight. You can see the way that the winds are all curling round. The way that the winds are doing that sort of pattern and fashion. Uh, you've got the little hot spots that are occurring just somewhere south of Bristol. Just to the northwest of Swansea. Then that concentration of winds makes itself up through the Midlands uh, and goes on mainly on the west side of the Pennines as it works its way through. As the system works its way through, it goes off Sunderland and moves its way across. Just to have a little bit of a peek, really, to see what sort of uh, energy values there are available in the atmosphere. And as you can see on the storm risk, we've got little hot spots here. We've got uh, heightened levels of energy that are potential for creating. Now, that's mainly because of the, the, the storm system that's come, is it Hermione, that's come from uh, Spain. So you've got a lot of that energy that's going across and it will interact with the land. Uh, Cape, I don't want to confuse you, but that is definitely to do with uh, the amount of energy that's available in the atmosphere to create thunderstorms and lightning. Um, and again, you can see with that system that's coming in, you've got it available there. But what I do notice is, as you click along, you can see the path that it's taking across over here 
everything seems to dissipate uh, and disappear definitely uh, within 24 hours. So I'm not going to baffle you with science. I'm going to keep it as slim as possible for you all to understand that any region sort of around the Devon and Cornwall area going off to Oxford, south of the Midlands, and then we're going to track all the way through to Leicestershire, Boston, Cambridgeshire, in that district, that area, there is a chance that you could see lightning, hail, flash flooding, and a tornado. And I don't know really what you're going to do about it to prepare yourself. I haven't got a scooby-doo. It's not like America. I understand that. It could be a small isolated one, or we could get quite a, a largest one that could be knocking over caravans and, and fence panels and wheelie bins and, you know, and hopefully no more than that. So whatever you do, make sure you, you tuck yourself in, get your garden winter eye, especially if those gusty winds come. If you are prone to flooding, if you can prepare yourself, do so. Uh, get yourself sorted. Don't put yourself in risk or any harm's way. Um, and then hopefully you will all will have a very good night's sleep and be able to crack on with your daily duties as per usual. Right, later on tomorrow, hopefully, or Tuesday, I will do another update for you uh, to find out what's going to go on for the next few days. Otherwise, I can't thank you all enough for supporting me and watching the channel. And I've had over, oh, what, within less than a week, I've had like 700 new subscribers, I think, that have come to the channel. Of course, if you want to join on the uh, the Patreon or the membership from a quid a month, the links are in the description area down below, which helps towards keeping these channels going. I try and keep things simple uh, for you all and direct and fun as well, which will return in the next episode. Sorry, Slate, like I said, just watch out. Keep your eyes to the skies.